Hello and welcome to the second project of the course. We are building on the first week with this uh, massive um, stadium crowd where we have much, much, much more agents and we'll be looking at how to deal with the problems of having so many agents. Um, we're going to be looking at having this wave of animation traveling down the crowd. And on top of that also we have the uh, vellum flags um, added in as well. So we will be recycling the some parts from the first project, so uh, mainly the agent setup. Um, but we will be adding in, uh, as I said, some vellum flags. So we'll be uh, generating that vellum geometry and constraints and then um, adding that into the uh, agent's layers. Um, we'll also be quickly looking at agent clip properties, so kind of modifying those, those animations. Um, we have a much more complex crowd source because we're going to have to be placing these agents um, in the chairs and facing the right direction as well. Um, what else? We're going to be looking at triggering. So uh, triggering is, is telling the agents when to change from one anima animation to another. And we're using a bounding box to tell the agents to change from sitting to standing and cheering, you know, all at the same time, and then back to sitting down again. Um, we will be so once the simulation is completed after that we'll be splitting out the vellum components to simulate the flags and you know mixing all that together then once all that is complete um we're actually going to be shading this with style sheets so we're not using the the normal process of the of using the matte context well, we do just drop one principal shader in there, but to make changes to the geometry, we're going to be using style sheets. And style sheets um, are a fantastic way of being able to work on packed geometry. So normally to um, apply shaders to individual um, components of each agent, we have to unpack them. But style sheets give you access to um, parts of the agent and you're able to make um, parameter changes to the roughness or color, or in our case, the textures, um, without having to unpack. And this allows you to have, um, you know, hundreds, thousands of, of agents and um, get a really nice, dense uh, render.